With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Everyone late L1 and L2 to be the two lines such that x plus 1 upon minus 3, y minus 3 upon 2, z plus 2 upon 1 and L2 is equal to x upon 1 is equal to y minus 7 upon 3 is equal to z plus 7 upon 2. So equation for the L1 L2. So first we calculate the angle between them. So from this equation we calculate the A1 is equal to minus 3, A2 B, B1 is equal to 2, C1 is equal to 1, A2 is equal to 1, B2 is equal to minus 3 and C2 is equal to 2. So from this we calculate the angle between two lines cos theta is equal to mod of A1 A2 plus B1 B2 plus C1 C2 upon square root of A1 square plus B1 square plus C1 square in the first and multiplication of A2 square plus B2 square plus C2 square mod. So from this we putting the value of A is equals to then cos theta is equals to mod of minus 3 into 1 plus 2 into minus 3 plus 2 into 1 upon square root of first one is minus 3 square plus 2 square plus 1 square in the first case and then in the second case that is 1 square plus minus 3 square plus 2 square so the cos theta is equals to cos theta is equal to mod of minus 3 minus 6 plus 2 upon root of 14 into root of 14. So this will equal to mod of minus 7 upon 14 which is equal to 1 by 2. Then cos theta is equal to cos 60. The value of theta is equals to 60 degrees. So we cannot say ki there is not a perpendicular line that is not a parallel line is screw. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.